All right, we're back for more of our playthrough of the Heart of the Cards TCG Card Shop Simulator. In the last episode we left off, it's the end of day 12. We haven't opened up our new packs yet. Let's go ahead and do that now. Wow. A gold edition rare guppy, 109 card value. That's from the basic pack. Okay, let's go ahead and advance to the next day. box price has gone up. Cleanser has gone up a bit. Dice have shifted. Mostly up. Alright. Last day is 425. But the box will go up a bit. That's it. Rare card pack, we're about basic. Thank you. 
I think that's our first or second. That's our second rare box to sell. Okay, how close are we to rent? Three days. It's at 316.49 now. It goes up by the day though, so it'll probably be in the 400s by the time we have to pay. Seventy fives are change. Let's address that, shall we? Oh, I got them both. So the only problem I see with this game is the market consumption. So you buy a product because there's a demand for it and the people come in with that set demand. But that doesn't appear to be how the game mechanics work. People don't come in to buy a specific thing. They come in and they buy random things. It wasn't so obvious at first when you had only a couple of products to, so to sell, but as you started deviating out of the, the game card market and into the accessories market, you start to see that randomness much more clearly. You know, people buying card sleeves and dice, but no cards. Stacks of card sleeves, you know, stacks of dice or whatnot. It's it's a lot more random than organized. You know, the occasional purchaser d uh, doing something like that, you can kind of argue, okay, they have a special special need. But that so many people are doing the same random acts, it's too consistent. So people come in, they don't have a set agenda on what they are going to buy. They look at your items and then they buy them randomly as you know, triggered by some sort of RNG when they go and look at products. The problem with that is you buy these products. I bought these products based on the demand that was displayed in the beginning of the game. Okay, I, I have three shelves stocked of cards and boxes because back when I was only selling cards and boxes, they were buying that many in a day. Now, because I have so many different items to sell, they're not buying so many cards and boxes anymore. The demand get for each item gets smaller as you add more items to your stock, more items to your inventory. And that's a problem. Seems like you would be more profitable if you just limited your sales to a couple of items and ignored the other the other stock. But the game wouldn't be so fun then.
This is not really that expensive, sir. When you need it, no price is too high. Some more cleanser. I don't think we need the big box yet. Ooh, we can get the new touch my card sleeves though. Oh, I forgot I'd unlocked the plushie already. Let's get two of them. Box. Do we need a box? Yeah, we need a box. Yeah, we need cards too. Do we have the card sleeves? We need the card sleeves. Let's go ahead and order. in there. Just one, but one's enough. There's no more space. Four more. Okay. Hmm, we're done. That's it for day 13. Let's get our new cards. Mesmery. Windstar. These packs aren't bad. That one is.
Alcazar. Day 14, let's check our prices real quick. Nothing too crazy. Accessories, cleanser's gone up again. Blue dice and black dice are up. Red dice and white dice are down. Our plushie's going up. We haven't set a price on that yet, I don't think. Six sixty or fifty. Fifteen for the refresher, air freshener. those plushies to sell. Buy one. Buy a plushie. Yes! You're going to be so happy with your plushie. Ooh, exact change too. I like it. And she brought cards to play. Thank 
Sir, 1075 is your change. one box each. Seventy five your chain. Alright guys, it's 8 p.m. You got an hour left to play.
Stock replenish. Nope. One more thing to unload. Just the boxes. All right, that's it for today's episode. Thanks again for watching the Heart of the Cards, a TCG card shop simulator. Be sure to like and subscribe and/or follow whichever platform you see me on. And until next time, you guys be safe. See you in the next one.